were able to still hang on after the, that ugly start? Yeah, hoeing uh, comes in and throws one pitch, and we get off the field only with three. We talk about minimize sometimes. It could have been five or six with, with one ball hitting the gap there. Uh, and then we answer in the first. Uh, the Josh Storrs two-out hit was huge. Uh, I thought that was the key to the game. And make it 3-3 after one, and neither team ends up with a great start. But now it's it's like 0-0, and now we go with our second pitchers or third pitchers for us at that point, and, and let's just play let's play baseball. And we come out on top and end up winning by a run. What's the message to the team this week after you know the difficult weekend against Virginia? Just keep fighting. Yeah. I mean, let's just, uh, like I just told Sean on the radio, I feel good. I mean, we didn't get a great start tonight. We, that was an experiment. We thought we'd give Michael a chance to see how he does. Obviously, he didn't look comfortable, but you got to feel good about your pitching tonight, what it did for those, you know, uh, eight and a third, how well those guys pitched. And um, so you still feel good about your starting pitching. You feel good about your bullpen. Shea Smitty has stepped in, done a nice job when you don't have your All-American closer. Um, so we just got to keep you know, we got to keep grinding out at bats, and um, you know we played good defense tonight. You know, the only disappointment we could have had another run or two just by executing, by running the bases the right way, by getting a guy over and getting him in. And, and you're not going to be 100% at that, but if you want to be a good team or a great team, then you got to try to try to get win this game 7-4. Let's get out of the five fours, get out of the one run games, get out of the tight ninth innings and play a little bit better throughout the game and, and understand the value of a run here and there. And we got smart kids, we got good kids, um, but we just got to keep teaching, pounding it home and, 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 and they get it. I mean, for the most part, you know, they're not going to be perfect, but you know, again, the efforts there, they show up, they work hard and, and they, they believe. So that, that, that's crucial. There's no easy button. After. <laughs> no, I mean, yeah, you're right. You know, we, we don't break the easy button out yeah. to the postseason, and, uh, you know, it's just this is a challenging game, uh, but they're having fun. They're enjoying practice. They're enjoying each other. Uh, again, we don't panic tonight with the bad first inning. Um, you know that they respect the game and and realize you just just play hard. I mean, just at the end of the day, just keep grinding it out and um, come away with a win against. You know, that's a good team. They got some really good hitters there, um, some scary hitters, and and our pitchers did a really good job controlling them tonight. You mentioned Shea. He's had a couple opportunities now to pick up some saves in, in Sam's absence. Are you learning a little bit more about him in, in these situations? No, well, I mean, we we we. Shea was started, was valuable out of the bullpen, and that's just part of the season. You know, we we needed a starter early. We didn't have Bennett early. Bobby Miller was a freshman. Uh, we weren't sure what his best role was. So Shea was so good out of the bullpen. We tried to start him, but that's one thing Coach Williams does. At the end of the day, guys end up in the spot that's best for them. Hoeing is best out of the bullpen. Now he can go long stints for you. That's a valuable guy to have an arm like that that can go three, four, five innings. Riley Thompson is probably best out of the bullpen, and, and he pitched well last time out. And so once you really put all the pieces together, and you know Bobby's a starter, and obviously you knew Bennett was a starter, and Wolf's done great for us, and, you know, Detmers, you know, he, he has to pitch out of the bullpen, but, you know, starting's probably his best thing. Uh, once you get all the pieces in place, I still I still feel good because our pitching's going to give us a chance. We just we got to play, play good enough around it. Another solid series coming up this weekend. What, what, what do you hope to see you guys accomplish? You know, we'll have our work cut out for us. Yeah. Uh, Indiana State really got off to a good start in the first half of the year. I, I think they might have scuffled a little bit the last few weeks. I haven't I haven't really looked at them that closely, but knowing that we were playing them, I remember checking out some of their scores earlier and, and talking to some coaches. You know, they're, they're going to come in here. you got to play good baseball. And, um, you know, even though it's non-conference, you know, you're down to, I don't know, 15 or so games. and. They all, they all matter. I mean, as much as anyone, you just got to try to run out there and, and keep grinding it out. How cool was the, the first pitch moment today having Chris Mike? You know, I, I, I felt bad because of the rain. Yeah. And, um, you know, it's, it's, um, I told them, hey, man, come back. You want to come back for the Notre Dame series? Or, you know, uh, we'll have some, some big crowds if we get some good weather. And uh, he didn't mind. All the media was here. So he got <laughs> plenty of media attention. and. Uh, he and Vince were, were out, and I appreciate you know them coming out, supporting us, and um, anything we can do for the hoop team, uh, we're, we're more than happy to help. Cool, appreciate it.